Well, with just two regular season games left in the season, the Flagstaff Eagles had a chance to make a run for the section title on Friday night with a win over the Mingus Union Marauders. Unfortunately, though, Mingus jumped all over the Eagles, beating them by a final score of 41 to 7. The Eagles' lone touchdown came from Flagstaff quarterback Christian Singleton as he found C.J. Tompkins in the end zone. The Eagles will be back in action this Friday as it is rivalry week here in Flagstaff. Coconino and Flag will clash for the city title in the Sky Dome this Friday at 7.30. Now switching gears and moving to NAU football, the Lumberjacks hosted Weber State for their homecoming game. The Jacks were in need of a win coming off of their bye week, and this was really a tale of two halves for the Jacks as they would dominate the first half of the game, and he would score on their first three possessions. Case Cookus finds Elijah Marks here for six, making the Weber State D look silly, and then on the next possession, Cookus to Kendall Taylor to put the Jacks up 21 to nothing in just the first quarter. The Jacks will lead 35 to nine at the end of the half, and they would start the second half off on fire as as well. A pick six here by Eddie Horn would extend the Lumberjack lead to 42 to 9, just seven seconds into the half. Weber State would battle back though and pull within six in the fourth quarter, but never fear. A field goal by Ryan Hawkins and a touchdown here by Casey Yawn would put the game out of reach for the Wildcats. And he wins this one 52 to 36. The Jacks will be back in action this Saturday when they host Northern Colorado at two. Over to the soccer field now where NAU hosted both Idaho and, uh, and Weber State this weekend. Uh, Friday night, the Jacks clashed with the Bengals and were looking for a win to keep their postseason hopes alive. Haley Wingender carried the team in this one with two goals in the first half, and that would be enough to carry the Jacks through and get them the win, moving them to 8-8-1, eight, eight and one, heading into their game on Sunday against Weber State. Sunday was senior day for the Jacks as they honored 11 graduating seniors, and they stepped up big time for the Jacks in this one. NA would fall behind in the first half here off of a questionable call early on that gave Weber State, State a penalty kick, and Weber State would bury that one to take the 1-0 lead. But NAU would tie things up in the second half off of a goal by none other than senior Emily Waddell. That forced the game into overtime. The Jacks would head into the extra period trying to grab their first overtime victory in six, in six tries this season. Another, se another senior would step up for the Jacks as Tori Braley would score the game-winning goal in the 94th minute. She goes far post on this one. With this win, the Jacks are now in sixth place in the conference and will look to clinch a spot in the Big Sky playoffs on the road with a win over Southern Utah on Friday night. Now over to NAU Volleyball where the Lumberjacks were on fi fire as of late and look to keep the wins coming over the weekend. They started things off with a matchup with North Dakota. Jensen Barton was in total command of this game as she had 42 assists on the night. Janae Vanderplug chipped in with 18 kills as NAU would win this one 3 to nothing. The Jacks would ride that momentum into that their next game with Northern Colorado on Saturday. This was a tough test for the Jacks as this game would go to the full five sets. Peyton Bach would lead the way in blocks once again with 11, while Stacia Williams had 27 digs. The Jacks would take this one in the end, three to two. The Jacks have now won eight games in a row, and with six games to go in the season, they're at the top of the Big Sky South Division with a 19-4 overall record.